runners? Well, you know, we got to be smarter on the bases, and, and uh, that's an old rule of baseball where you throw through, throw behind on miss bunts, and mm-hmm. and uh, Keaton got a little far off there, and, you know, it broke momentum. And, you know, and I thought Ethan's dirt ball read was the right read. They made a great play mm-hmm. on that. We still have to – we have to run on dirt balls. I don't mind – kind of getting thrown out on those but 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 pick off some bunts behind you know that's that's momentum killers right there so that was that change that that was a different complex in the game and then I thought the you know the base loaded situation their guy made a couple of great pitches to get out of it and we, we were a little passive offensive mm-hmm. early I thought it was a, an odd game in the fact that it was only two to one but these hitters tonight on both sides work deep in in counts they got pitch counts elevated both for for Wills and Cooper tonight yeah and I thought you know after that two run inning Michael settled in and was very good mm-hmm. and got his game going and and it, and looked very sharp, and you know, we could we just couldn't grab enough offensive momentum off of what Michael was doing. And Heath came in and did a great job. You know, got got us out of that jam. And uh, so so pitching wise, uh, you know, still pleased. We we still gotta we still gotta find who we are offensively. And and uh, and and it's it's tough when when you know that they, they walk three tonight, and if they, if teams throw strikes on us, it, it, it's tough. We gotta we gotta manufacture a little bit, and we, we need some help sometimes to do it. Michael pitched really well. He pitched well in relief. A couple players also want to highlight. Ethan Gross got two hits. We're finally getting him going again. I, I thought his second at bat where he lined out the left was a really good at bat. He stayed alive, got the hard hit ball, and he, he was rewarded with two hits later in the game. Yeah, you know, and, and we we made a change, put him back up in the two hole to try to. You know, just get him get him some some confidence and some life and some energy going, and he handled it very well tonight. And uh, happy with the progress he's made. You know, he had a he had a real good thing going up until the two lane weekend, mm-hmm. and, and uh, you know, over last week. And uh, but but you know, just we just gotta we gotta find ways more to get leadoff men on there. And and uh, and you know, for the most part, that uh, I thought Cooper pitched very well for him. You know, the ten strikeouts really hurt. We gotta build. We got yeah. a team that's gotta. Uh, and our strikeouts and fly ball combo has got to be somewhere around 10 to 12, and, yeah. and 10 strikeouts is too many. Talk about Austin Hatfield's catch out on left field. We've talked about how good of a job he's done since he's started to get some more playing time as far as getting bunts down and getting a couple of hits. But what about that catch he made out in the uh, left field corner? Big time play, and, and and he works hard. Like I said, he he works hard every day defensively and, and, uh, and pays off. You know, you see our outfielders running around a lot during BP and making plays that – that other teams don't usually make in BP, yeah. and, and uh, they know that's part of their work work time. And Austin's doing a great job grabbing grabbing opportunities. Coach, uh, I guess you you're not quite sure probably he's going to start tomorrow with the bullpen situation tonight, and I guess you'll figure that out out later today. Well, no, we're going to go Colin Lee. Okay, we're going to give a freshman the start. You know, I thought he was very crisp up at up at UT Martin and tacked the strike zone, and and uh, we're going to get you know we're, we're grooming him for that for a midweek role, and this is going to be an opportunity for him. And this will be an opportunity here for for this young ball club in the lineup to try to grind through. A little bit of a rough patch right now after hitting that win streak a couple of weeks ago. And, and again, I mean, you've been through the battles before. 56 games, that's why you preach that even kill approach. Can't get too high when you string those wins together. Can't get too low now. It's three of the last four, but can't get too low. You've still got over half the season to go. you got a long time to play. you yeah. got a good little home stretch here. And, you know, again, tonight we're one we're one get a good at bad away from, from getting another W. So our guys just got to keep plowing and keep grinding. All right, Coach, we appreciate it. We'll see you out here tomorrow. Thanks, Jeff.